Kia ora, good morning, welcome to Wednesday the 13th of July 2022. This is my morning ramble for today. Um, a little bright out here. Squintier than usual. The sun's coming in at different angles now, so it is what it is. Beautiful blue sky. Um, no rain forecast for today, so I guess we're going to get some some burn off and and the heat, and yeah, we'll see how it goes. Uh, anyway, topic for the morning. Let's talk about community. Um, it's been some discussion and various podcasts and uh, forums and stuff um, around community and in the context of community it's not strictly constrained I guess to to homesteading or whatever your opinion or view or definition of homesteading is talk about that some other time um, but community in the sense of um, establishing a community, understanding what community means to you, uh, what your desired community is, you know, maybe those sorts of things. Um, so, I don't know, let's start with the basics. Um, and these are just my, my opinions, um, so don't <laughs> read too much into it, by any means or stretch. Um... So from a homesteader perspective or or even from a preferred sociality perspective, maybe this kind of keys into what we, we hope will be our our final community when we get down down to Tennessee, um, as opposed to what we have here in Ohio. Um, I see communities as being you know loosely knit and tightly knit. Um, and this is from a Western sense as opposed to, you know, older cultures which still maintain, you know, a lot of family traditions where grandparents and the great-grandparents and the parents, um, you know, all have large extended families that, you know, still live generally around and help each other out actively and have an active part to say in, in you know, their, their um, children's development and their children's children's development in terms of western culture we've well well moved away from that to the uh, quote-unquote nuclear family um, 2.4 kids which is probably a lot less now because you know birth rates are dropping um, we'll just say two two uh, children average per and we'll leave it at that um, but the the idea of community is one where wherever you put your roots down um, hopefully you have some interaction with, with the people around you, or at least like-minded people. In a tightly knit community, I don't know that there's necessarily um, any more pros. There probably are. You know, this is like cities or homeowner associations, maybe, um, or, or any, um, any type of... Uh, living situation where you have a um, smaller amount of property you're basically sandwiched in you really have no options other than to kind of really keep your head down or um, or, or interact with the people around you um, you know and, and if you get on with your neighbours that, that's great um, if you don't get on with your neighbours maybe that's not quite so great because they're not exactly far away so, hmm, <laughs> just have to see how that actually plays out. Um, but then, you know, tightly knit community could also be, you know, I, I guess, a, you know, a smaller kind of homestead, maybe something that's out a little bit out, out of the burbs. We do have half an acre or maybe even up to an acre. Um, it's still small enough and tight enough so that you do have the opportunity to know your neighbours if you want to. Um, you know, by example, we have five acres here. We know who our neighbours are, we've met them, but we don't really interact with, with many of them. Um, this is not from a lack of effort, it's just just how things are. Um, 
we don't really have, you know, a, a lot of our neighbours are just kind of get on with their, with their respective farms and lives. Um, and we know each other well enough to be social when we see each other out in public. But nobody's inviting anybody to any, you know, shindigs or anything at, at their houses. Um, and, in, and a lot of the relationships, I think, are based on traditional farm stuff, for example. Uh, the farmer down the road used to use our property here to grow, grow hay, so we would have interactions with him until we got sheep on the property, and then obviously those interactions weren't, weren't quite as interactive. But he's dropped you know, deer meat off, and we've dropped the eggs, and sadly our late neighbour passed away during COVID days. Um, he had cattle, and you know we would help him out with his, with his cattle, and he loved cherry tomatoes and wasn't growing those, so you know, um, loved dehydrated pineapple, so he would bring pineapples around, I would dehydrate it. Just stuff like that. So, um, I wouldn't say that we live in a tightly knit community here, but we 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 may be close enough. But and certainly, if you've got half an acre or an acre, or, um, or you're living in an apartment, or even just a normal house in the suburbs, that's kind of where I'm talking about with a tightly knit community, or at least the potential thereof. Um, I won't talk about homeowner associations and my opinions on that at this time. I don't think anything where there's a where there's a group of uh, Want to be uh, um, tyrants for want of a better word, <laughs> little Hitlers. There you go. Um, making decisions, you know, for people um, is ever going to turn out good. But mm, maybe you have a good, maybe maybe you do have a good HOA if you're in one. I don't know. Um, just do not have high opinions. But anyway, I think you know when we get to Tennessee. We're going to be geographically constrained, like like a lot of um, other people out in the rural and rurality. Um, you know, and we, we've got friends who you know they're, they're maybe a little closer, and they've they've built you know kind of uh, smaller communities around where they are, even though they are actually geographically constrained. But I kind of suspect that when we get down there, um, our, our community will be what what I'm going to call loosely coupled um, and that doesn't mean that's a bad thing um, what it does mean is um, if you want to maintain that community you probably need to make more of an effort to actually uh, keep in touch with that community um, and and encourage some degree of, of sociality um, other than a virtual 2D chat or video or whatever um, presence. Um, and this may actually become the norm if it's not already. And I guess one of the advantages of such a loosely coupled community is that it's not necessarily bound by geographical limitations. So, you know, you can be in one state, you could have friends who are part of your community in another state, or even in another country, um, it doesn't really matter. From a sociality perspective, it becomes a little more difficult. Um, but I'd, I'd like to think that um, over time, as we start doing more, start getting more engaged with um, uh, the people who become a little geographically closer, um, you know, even if geographically closer means driving for a couple of hours, um, that's still close by our, our standards, um, to maybe um, have more frequent social interactions, whether that's, you know, potluck dinners at someone's place, um, you know, maybe if there's, they're working on something, some outdoor project, you know, make that known, um, have people come around and, you know, help out for an hour or two, that kind of stuff. I'm really not talking, you know, barn raisings and, and all that kind of stuff, that'd be pretty cool, but... Um, you know, just, just basically it's an opportunity, um, to come out and say hi, bring the dogs if you need to bring the dogs and bring the kids if you need to bring the kids, that's fine, whatever, um, and just get some stuff done mutually and then, you know, return that, that favour later. Um, and I don't know... In a, light, in a loose knit community, um, I think um, having those regular 
face-to-face -face interactions um, really cements the community part of it. Um, because like I said, you know, it's easy to have a 2D conversation with people who are just getting on with stuff. Um, but when you're face-to-face, -face, you get a lot more, you know, expression and everything else that, that kind of goes, goes with it. It's a little more three-dimensional, I guess. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, you know, the interaction we may be having on this video is a very one way. It's me rambling. If you could post comments, that's great. It becomes a little more two way, but it's not, you know, definitely not a community relationship. But, um, yeah, so community, loosely coupled uh, or tightly knit. Let me know what you think. If you have any thoughts on this, feel free to post some comments. Um, do you like some feedback? Um, tell me if I'm full of shit. That's fine too. This is intended to be a ramble. I'll probably forget exactly what I said tomorrow morning anyway, so it's all fine. <laughs> it's part and parcel of, of the fun. Um, yeah, I'll probably have more to say. Um, on community moving forwards. Um, thought of the day for today. And I apologize, this is this is the bad week. Follows on, continues on until about the 17th. So um, I am a little not on my A game. Um, thought of the day on from community maybe I don't know take take the time to have a think about what your ideal social situation would look like and whether you know how important that is to you really how important that is to you um, and the kind of people that you think you might like to interact with um, you know in the extents of those those interactions um, you know, whether that's actually an important thing for your homestead plans or whether that's just an important thing for you in terms of personal development. And then make it happen if you think it's a positive move forward. Um, for those of us that are a little more less outgoing and have to overcompensate or think we have to overcompensate um, or maybe not as introverted as me maybe think I I don't know um, you know those those interactions still hold a lot of value um, they definitely hold a lot of value in fact they probably hold a little more value because they're something you have to work a little harder towards and particularly maintaining at a personal level I suck at it so um, there's obviously some some personal development needed there but the um, yeah, continuing the uh, thought of the day, you know, have a think about it. Think about what's really important. Life is too short for toxic relationships. Um, so while you're thinking about community, think about, you know, what your ideal community members may look like or more, what kind of interactions you may find ideal for them. Um, and those interactions may be different for you than it is for them. Um, so you need to bear that in mind. That community is intended to be two-way. But, you know, some people will always take more than they give. Um, you just need to balance that with, with ultimately what's important to you. So, anyway, some thoughts and ramble. I hope you have a great day. I'm going to go and... Uh, have a cup of coffee and brace for my uh, 10 to 11 hour work day and we'll get on with it and uh, talk again tomorrow. Kia ora, take care, bye bye.